Now we're the private detective. Wake up, lazy. No. No, I said wake up. Mm. <sighs> Hitting the bottle too much. Uh. Oh, wow. There's a lot of stuff we can look at. it a couple times. Okay, let's just get on. This must be his house. Oh. Rain. Why is this music going on? Music stops. Oh yeah, that's a retro fridge. Okay, yep. Nice. Oh, get the ice cream. No, go for the beer. Or whatever that is. Chug. 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 No, no, come on. Okay, well that was that was very useful. Let's just leave. Out. Nope, can't leave. Am I just supposed to go to bed? Is that literally? Oh god. No, I'm I'm pointing this way. Yeah. Yeah, come on, man. What are you go? What is happening? There we go. Thank you. Who is at this dang door? Oh. You said I could contact you if I remembered anything. Can I come in? Yeah, sure. Sure. Uh, drink. You want a drink? Yes, glass of water, please. Take a seat. I'll get it. Glass of water. Glass of water. Is that? Okay, I guess I have to go into the. No. Oh, that's why I have to go in here. What's her coming, ma'am? No other way. Up. Thanks. No problemo. I just remembered something. Maybe it's not important, but a letter arrived in the mail the morning Johnny disappeared. A letter? What kind of a letter? It was addressed to Johnny's father. I don't know what was inside it, but he read it and then he left. That's the last time I saw him. And you think there's a connection between that letter and Johnny's death, is that it? Do you remember anything else about the letter? 
Well, I don't know why, but I kept the envelope. Throws it at me. Disrespectful. Uh, Alan Winter, Springfield, yep. Mm -hmm. Let's, uh... No sender. It was mailed in the Carnaby district. The day before Johnny disappeared. Uh, not particular. Except the address. The address? It was typed with an old typewriter. Could be a lead, you never know. Well, thanks for your help, Lord. I'll let you know if it leads to anything. Wait, I... I can't just sit around and do nothing while you're out there looking for the man who killed my son. Ever since you came out, I've been thinking, and I... I want to come with you. Help you in your investigation? The answer is no. If you won't let me help you, I'm keeping the envelope. It's all or nothing. Well, like, come on. It's dangerous. Listen, an investigation like this is dangerous. And I don't have time to play the bodyguard. How many clues have you got, Mr. Shelby? Enough. This envelope. Maybe you're only linked to the killer. I understand. It was a stupid idea. Sorry for wasting your time, Mr. Shelby. Wait. You're really something special, Lord. I'll give you that. I'm just a mother. A mother who wants to find out who killed her son. Are we partners? No, we're, oh, God. We're, we're partners. Par we're partners. Fair enough. Why is the music so loud? Oh. Walking in like, like we the boss. What are we doing here? We come to see Gordy Kramer. Kramer? The big wood tycoon from Kramer Construction? No, his son. You think maybe he's the origami killer? But now I just have a few questions that need answers. Dun, dun, dun. Dog statues? Not my thing. Cat, uh, door ringers. Oh, what's going on in here? Stay here till I come back. Okay. Hey. Okay. How Just you let me know if you need me. How, how you doing? Okay. Hi. Dun, I'm dun, looking dun. for Gordy. You know where he is? I saw him a while back, but you'll be lucky to see him. He rarely hangs out down here with his guests. Oh, really? Why bother throwing a party then? Why don't you go ask him? Thanks for the help. I'd like to speak to Gordy Kramer. Gordy hasn't seen anyone. Beat it. What did you say to me? Bye. Uh, persistent. Look, you just tell him that Scott Shelby wants to speak to me. Okay? You're starting to piss me off, man. Now beat it before I get angry. Jerks. If I want to see Gordy Kramer, I'm gonna have to go about it some other way. Whoa! You see that guy over there? Do you know what he said about you? What he said? <laughs>
Okay, <laughs> my time's now. talking about why I'm rolling up great spots here and treat you. You're thinking, oh. I find it so weird when they split up the camera like this, but it's, in, it's different for sure. We go. What are you saying about my mother? You nah, you get wild with me, my friend. And you, you know who I am? <laughs> Gordy? Is he watching Spongebob? <laughs> Hello, Gorty. <laughs> Mr. Kramer? Shh! This is the best part! <laughs> what is going on here? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. What is he watching? <laughs> turn it off. Turn the TV off. I'd like to know exactly what happened to little Joseph Brown. Beat it. You hear me? Get the hell out of here. That was very rude. What do you want? Factual. A witness saw little Joseph Brown get in the back of your limousine. That was the last time anybody ever saw him. Now, I know you've been arrested and interrogated until your father made a little phone call and the file was closed. I'd like to hear your version of the facts. The kid was lost. I just offered to drive him home. The police arrived, I explained the misunderstanding, and I was released. End of story. Nothing to get excited about. What a creep. Right? Um, skeptical. I don't know why, but your story just doesn't check out. You're giving me the crap now. Tell me something I can't believe. Very well. I'm the origami killer. I get my victims into my car. I drown them in rainwater. Then I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an orchid on the chest. What? I do that because I'm Borg, Mr. Shelby. And it's a creative and entertaining way of Having fun. Is that good enough for you? Or do you want more? This interview is over. What is... Get rid of this clown! He's... There's no way. Maybe... Is he actually? <laughs> There's no way he actually is. Oh. 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 Oh, dang it. Ooh. Oh, dang it! Oh, no. Oh, no. Is... No. for coming, Mr. Shelby. It was fun while it lasted. No way, this Ugh. isn't it. Get rid of him. He's legit the origami killer. <laughs> Is he dead?
He's not dead, is he? Well, guys, I'm going to end it here. Um, I, I hope he's not dead, but I guess we'll find out soon. Um, so, yeah, I hope you drop a like and hit the subscribe button to see more, to find out if he really is dead, and to see our second trial for the next episode of uh, good old Ethan here. So, see you guys later.